when it comes to good food, the only one you have to really satisfy is yourself. When it comes to cooking, without deviating too far from the recipe, you can add whatever you like to your dish and omit all the ingredients that do not tickle your taste buds. Hawkers in Penang have become used to their rather demanding clientele. Not too much chili. More chili, please. No tauge. More vegetables. Less oily. Separate the gravy. And the list goes on and on. Obligingly, the hawkers oftentimes fulfill each request without batting an eyelid. If you are making kerabu bihun at home, you get to decide what goes into your dish. Of course, bihun is a must and should not be substituted with any other types of noodles. All else is left to you. I have divided the ingredients for making nonia kerabu bihun into three main categories, sambai belacan, aromatic herbs, and textural components. Buy some good sambai belacan from the wet market or your favorite supplier. This will reduce the task of making your own. I will buy the super spicy option. According to the degree of spiciness you fancy, add freshly squeezed calamansi lime juice to a few teaspoons of sambai belacan. Balance the taste with sugar and salt, plus a splash of light soya sauce. Add in a good amount of thinly sliced shallots. The crunchy and slightly spicy flavors of the shallots will add drama later to the dish. Remember to toss everything together only when you are ready to serve. Avoid preparing the dish in advance as the shallots and herbs can release a good amount of juices, thus diluting the taste. Now let us take a closer look at the aromatic herbs. Top of the list is the star ingredient, bunga kantan, also known as torch ginger. Finely slice the flower. The aroma from the bunga kantan is distinct and is like no other. Its bright pink shade adds a vibrant touch to this colorful dish. Other herbs to add include lemongrass, use only the bottom white part, means finely, tender young kaffir lime leaf, remove the spine and slice thinly, mint, coriander, Thai basil leaves, and red chili, all sliced thinly. For the textural components, add dried shrimps, wash, soak, costly pound, and toast till fragrant. Small dried anchovies, rinse, dry, and deep fry till crispy. Gerise, pan fried, freshly grated coconut till golden. Fried shallots and crushed peanuts. The dried shrimps and anchovies will enhance the umami component of the dish. I will usually add finely julienne carrots and some thinly sliced tomatoes for more color. Some cooks will toss in julienne cucumber and blanched tauge. To make the dish more interesting, I will add some hard-boiled eggs and large prawns, shell, debane, and blanch. You can add squid and crab sticks as well. Blanch and season the seafood items with some light soya sauce, oil, and white pepper. Soak the bihun for about 20 minutes before blanching it for a minute or two. Allow the bihun to cool before tossing everything together. I will add some cooking oil to loosen the texture and a dusting of white pepper powder. This is really one recipe that you have to adjust the taste and flavors to your liking. Although it is not a complicated dish to prepare, it may be difficult to source all the much needed ingredients if you are not living in Penang. Omit what you cannot find and substitute them with something similar. Instead of sambai blachan, try tong yam paste. Instead of kalamansi lime, try other available limes. Just ensure that the amount of bihun you use is well balanced with the spicy, tangy, sweetish, and umami flavors. The zesty nonia kerabu bihun can be enjoyed for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or as a snack. There is never a wrong time to savor a plate of this vibrant offering that will awaken all your senses.